Hey YouTube, this is Average Joe again. I'm going to install the uh, 10.1 uh, screen uh, DVD player into this. Uh, I just picked up this Lexus uh, LS460 all-wheel drive, and so we're gonna try to install them here on the back, obviously, uh, so that my kids can uh, watch a little uh, watch a little movie or what have you when we're in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the head post. I'm gonna try to run the wire down underneath here uh, somehow. We're gonna feed it down through there. I don't even know how I'm gonna do it just yet. Uh, and then we're gonna hook it up. I'm gonna hardwire it if I can. Uh, and we'll see if we can get a good OEM look. Um, so I'll open these guys up and come back with you in a sec. All right, so this is the product here. These 10.1-inch uh, HD digital TFT screen, ultra-thin design, touch button, not touch screen, but touch button, headrest DVD player with HDMI. So, HDMI. so these, these buttons, and once we open these, are what are going to work uh, as I watch videos on, on uh, YouTube. They're not touch screen, but for the price, you know, these are about 100 bucks, right about that a piece. Uh, you know, to get an OEM look, I think it's going to be totally worth it. So. Uh, here is what it looks like. Here's the box. I haven't opened it yet. Yes, they're made in China uh, As you can see here, and so we'll see what kind of use we can get out of these guys um, and um, I've seen some other videos and a lot of people have been pretty pretty happy with them And so um, we'll see what we can get in our in our Lexus here if not, you know We'll, we'll eventually go OEM and we'll, we'll spend the money, but for what I saw on Amazon, uh, you know, like, hey, let's give it a shot. So these are the, uh, this is the package here. This is the post holders. I don't know if I'm going to use that because, uh, believe it or not, on this Lexus uh, that I have, those are telescoping headrest um, things there. So I don't even know if I could take it off. So we're going to have to see what we can do. Uh, I did notice that it goes up and down on a on a button. So I'm not sure how I'm going to pull that off, but. I'll bet there's a way to take those off and stick them back on. But anyway, here, here's that, uh, what it comes with. And then, of course, we've got just the normal packaging. Looks like there's a, there's a couple of remotes in there, not just one, but two remotes and all the wiring that we'll need. And here's the headphones that it comes with. And uh, here's the, what's going to go on the post there to attach it. Looks like there's another version of it right there. Um, that's probably a power adapter. And uh, let's see here, what else we got? Um, some audio out cord, which you know we could replace that at uh, Radio Shack if we had to. But uh, here we go. Here's the screen. Obviously, I'm trying to do this in one hand. I don't want to screw anything up. Here's another box because we're going to do dual screens. And uh, let's open it up. See what we got here. Doing the best I can with one hand. Uh, what we got here. All right. So, here's the screen. Got a nice little cover on it. Here's the uh, adapter here. This is what's gonna hook up to our headphone post. So, I'm gonna try to put some of it together here and see what I could do off camera and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, so what, what I can gather from uh, just looking at things, the instructions, even though they're in English, they're the English isn't the greatest um, version um, in the world. So anyway, just looking at it from having done uh, other videos you may have seen me do with other vehicles, it looks like that's going to plug into there. And then I have the uh, option to hardwire this maybe into a cigarette lighter. I'm sure I can break apart and use our positive and negative there. And then if I want to touch this over to the uh, other screen to do simultaneous broadcasting I would have to connect these RCAs here and so it's fairly straightforward if I want to just run this one screen here get power to it um, I can plug into an AC uh, side here and then just plug it in with the cigarette lighter so you can you can actually do this uh, you know with a with a normal adapter uh, some cars actually have that connection now mine we're not going to do that way or you could just use straight into a cigarette lighter adapter um, and do it that way i'm going to try the hardwire 
halfway because I really want an OEM look and that's my whole goal here. And these are gonna be to connect the two together, um, I think. And so, just showing you kind of what comes in the box. There's an instruction manual, some uh, a headphone, two, two remote controls. I don't know why there's two at this point. I'll, I'll figure this out in a moment. I know this is to do, do the unit. Um, and we'll figure out what these both are for. Again, these are our head, 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 uh, headrest posts here to make it fit. So we're, we're gonna, you know, we're coming along a little bit. We'll, we'll come back to you in a second. So Lexus owners, there is, if you go on Club Lexus, there's a description and it's really uh, precisely accurate. It actually has the same color. There's a little flip here that you undo from the underneath, this little black part. You just gotta push it off. If you've ever been familiar with one of these kinds of hooks before, it doesn't take very long to, to pop it off. So pop that off, and then you proceed on from there, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, whoa, what's that, right? It was actually much simpler than I thought. I'm gonna post the uh, Club Lexus website where you're given instructions by one of the members, excellent instructions, by the way, how to pop this off. Be careful because there is this cord here, okay, that's attached. So we don't want to attach, uh, detach this right now. But what we're trying to do is get to these, um, get to these uh, headrests here, okay? We're trying to get to the headrest part here so we can pop it off and so we can feed it on. So this is much more difficult than other videos because a lot of these will just have a little, a little click here and they pop off. But in the Lexus LS, um, you know, obviously a little more luxurious than some other vehicles. Uh, on the side over there where you adjust your seat on the bottom, uh, there's actually a button to move this headrest up and down. It's powered right here. So what we're going to do is remove these clips, pop these guys off, so we can put our unit on. All right, this unit here. Okay, I'll come back to you when I have a little more info. Okay, just real quick, right back at you. Just to let you know, this is a 2014 model. Uh, I can't say that every other model is going to be the same, but the 2014 model, there is a little clip. It's hard to see, but there's a little clip under there. Again, look at the video. Uh, I'm sorry, the um, the site I give you from Club Lexus, and it'll, it'll show you right up underneath. There's a little clip, and we'll take that off, and this headrest will come up. So. If you're not a do-it-yourselfer, this is going to be a difficult task. If you can follow these instructions, though, uh, you're going to appreciate being able to put this in yourself and not having to pay someone 500 bucks to do this. This is uh, this is more easy than you think it is, just if you have the uh, patience to do it. I'm doing this at 11:30 at night. I've had three glasses of wine, but I'm still going to pull it off. All right. All right, so that popped off, and I was able to slide this uh, up, all right? So I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna try to feed the wires down the, through there to make it OEM, but we'll see. We might have to run it down through here and then hide it back behind in, the, in this stuff here, which, you know, if this, is, uh, if this is the most wire that's showing behind the screen itself, it won't be a big deal. But uh, again, I, I, I like things pretty neat if you've seen my other videos, and so we'll see if we can slide it down through here. I obviously don't wanna mess with the leather, um, but we'll see what we can get done. So I'm going to lean this seat back, pop this guy off, put our little brackets on, and come right back to you. All right, guys. So I found uh, off this little chart here two that I think will fit. And so out of the ones I have, whoops, out of the ones I have, this is a shorter one. And you can see they kind of push together. So if you want to fit them, you just kind of squeeze them together. So the bigger one on this particular Lexus model is gonna fit. And you'll be able to squeeze these together, okay? Uh, you'll, you'll be able to just kind of, again, push it, push it together to make it fit the headrest. So, uh, you gotta get that where that little screw's there facing this way, and we'll feed the, uh, feed the unit into that. So it'll sit like this. We'll put the head unit, uh, the headrest back on, squeeze these together, and then we're gonna hook everything back up. Again, we're gonna try Try to feed the wire down here. I don't know if that's going to work just because the way the headrest is. So it may very well have to come back here. But again, with the with the unit sitting likely in this situation, you're not going to see that wire. Um, and so it'll look pretty good. All right, we'll come back and show you what I've got done. All right, so what I did was I uh, I found a couple of those little tube parts to fit. Right. 
and then I was able again you can contract this squeezing it together and then popping it out and you got to get it just exactly right to fit into this little two parts you'll see when you do it now we're going to slide the unit in there and then right in this little part right here there's a there's a screw part to to fit in this little screw here is going to fit in there to hold it down I'm not really not seeing a way to make the wire not be seen right here so that's the only thing I'm gonna see there is that one wire and I'm gonna be able to hide the rest underneath and I'm gonna try to tap into this cigarette lighter here from the back uh, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to pop this guy off because uh, they do have a way to hardwire it because they're ready for that with their connections here uh, they've got it ready to go they've got positive and a negative here and so um, there's a way to do it you probably hide it underneath the bottom there pop up through there when no one can see it right down underneath there and go into this console uh, this other side over here doing the same thing popping down going underneath and tapping into that guy from the other side if you do that all you're gonna have is you're gonna have a little bit probably a wire here uh, and that on each side and that's all you're gonna see it's not perfect but hey these are a hundred dollars a piece these car shops are going to charge you thousands of dollars to do this so hey look it's totally worth it if you just want your kids to have some entertainment it looks pretty OEM uh, on a $50,000 Alexis so I'm gonna do a little more and I'll take some more video all right guys you can see that I've I've got it connected here and there's a little screw it's hard to see I'm gonna get you a little there's a little screw back there this little little guy the little screw back there Put in to hold it in place you can still move this up and down this headrest i am going to put the clips back on and i you know i just think that in this in this particular um connection this way we're putting it in there's not going to be a way to keep that wire from showing it which i've seen that happen in other places they're just not a way unless you're going to cut a hole into your leather which i wouldn't recommend to try to hide it behind that for this uh, simple application but um I think it'll it'll suffice. Uh, I like a little more OEM. Maybe I'll color that in. Who knows? I'll you know I'll get some tape that matches this leather, and maybe it'll be less noticeable and uh, in that little spot right there, or something else that might make it uh, less noticeable. But I mean, heck, for the money that you're spending here, about $115 a piece for these guys. Uh, you know, it holds on pretty sturdy pop this open you, you, I, I just reach back there you're gonna slide in a, a DVD you're gonna close it the kids will be able to adjust the screen up and down there's a remote control that goes with it we're gonna have dual headrest for a fraction of the cost you pay at the dealership so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the two clips back on to the headrest part I'm gonna I've already connected the the wire that they've given me uh, that's gonna be a hard wire and a way to connect uh, and do a, a dual uh, headrest at the same time if I want to. I can do them independently if I'd like. Uh, but I think in this uh, the application, I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to the other one I'm going to put over here so that I can run them dual if I want because I have a four year old and a two year old and a 10 year old. So obviously, the 10 year old sometimes likes to watch her own things. But the four year old and the two year old, obviously, I don't think they'll care if they're watching the same thing. And so it just gives us a little option like that. So gonna try to put this back together we'll do the same thing on this side we'll connect all these guys and we're gonna try to somehow again put it all underneath there you might see a little wire underneath uh, right over there and on that side but if you were looking into this car from the outside you'd never see it and we're gonna tap into that power source which is that cigarette lighter there I'm gonna find a way to do that and uh, still make it accessible out here so you can charge a phone or whatever but the power is going to go to those guys or I might use the inside uh, there's a cigarette lighter inside there too and so I'm gonna find a way to make one of those power sources work uh, so we have a hardwired as good as we can get OEM system all right we'll come back in a sec all right so what I've done here is it's hard to tell but here's the wire that connects to the unit and I've kind of fed it down back through these gears and things. I'm trying to avoid as much as I can there. I'm going to go ahead and use electrical tape to make sure this connection is secure. But it is hidden behind there. And um, 
yeah you can see that wire coming out from underneath but it's gonna it's gonna tuck up underneath there and it's gonna again go into that underneath that console I know that's not a very good picture uh, this phone is having a hard time focusing but it's gonna go underneath that okay and uh, here we go all right so it's gonna go underneath that console there and feed into this guy so I'm gonna do the same thing this is taking a little while but it's a lot better than just having the, the cigarette lighter thing hanging down here these are going to be a permanent install and again once I use a little a little tape to disguise and match the color I don't think you'll be able to tell uh, you know we'll just stick it here and we'll be able to, we'll be able to, uh, to make it look like it's OEM as best we can again uh, I didn't see a way to feed it through otherwise all right so I put everything back together and uh, these screws were really hard to put back in, those ones I took out, if you'll look at the uh, Club Lexus thing, uh, they're very, very difficult, extremely difficult to get back in. The clips are difficult to get back in. So, again, if you're not a handyman, it's going to be a tough chore right here. Um, so, again, if I can get some colored, um, I don't know, marker or tape or something to match this leather, you won't really see this very, very easily. Um, I've got my uh, connections; they're running through the bottom there. Again, you might see a little wire there on each side, but if I'm popping into that console, it's a pretty clean look. As clean as we're going to get for $200. Uh, these things uh, move forward. You kind of touch the back, and you slide a DVD in there. Uh, you can, you know, still raise the headrest up and down if you did the clips right. Uh, with the automatic headrest uh, razor and lower uh, so we're going to just find a way to um, power this so these guys hook together here so that you can have that simultaneous uh, play uh, or independent play if you still want to do that just on which channel you want to be on again once we can hide all this underneath uh, the console which I'm confident we can do it'll be a custom uh, a look again just but for this little wire here on each side uh, it's a pretty good look okay we're back so uh, as it's uh, you can tell it's daylight now so I discontinued it. it's that night but I went ahead and continued on so I ran these wires down through here is that for you and then I ran it up underneath here one from this from this one over here I ran that wire behind behind here hit it underneath here okay and then I connected it all and put it underneath the driver's seat okay it's underneath the driver's seat and I'm gonna walk you around to see what I show you what I did to get power so to get power then I pop these guys off and they're easy to pop on you know, if they just got clips real simple and then what I did was um, I got myself a uh, cigarette lighter here right uh, with a, with an adapter here so we can do positive and negative in there and you just plug it in so we're gonna see how that works to power both so I wired everything together and we're just gonna see how that works so I started it up uh, again I just I just drilled a tiny little hole right there uh, and fed it down through here and then again I hit it underneath the driver you can see a little bit there but once I put this back on you'll never see it uh, and so let's see are we getting power I'm back here to these guys hey what do you know we got power so so far so good the only wire I'm seeing is this I'm gonna try to as I mentioned before color that with something to match it um, but that's the only way I could see it and, and, and actually just a just a heads up you don't have to take off the headrest but you still need to get pop this off to get behind it but because these little things that go on the headrest actually will open up and so I learned that the hard way but you don't have to take off the headrest so those clips and that stuff uh, you won't have to mess with you can just put this little thing on and it uh, makes it a lot easier so your uh your gain from my loss so good luck uh, these seem to be working pretty well um i haven't tried the headphones yet but uh, i'm not worried that they're not going to work uh and uh, so hey here we go 200 dollar system and i bought a few other things from radio shack cost about 30 bucks for some wiring and tape and, and whatnot so works pretty good